Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Travel Coach Network podcast. It is I, Sahar Rose DeBoer, the founder of the Travel Coach Network and the creator and instructor of the Travel Coach Certification Program. Today's episode, I'm going to talk about how to market yourself as a travel coach. Before I talk about how to market yourself as a travel coach, you need to first identify what you're, who you're helping and what your business is all about. You have to be very clear on who you who you serve, how you serve them, and why your business even exists. What is the impact that you're trying to make? What is your core message? What do you want people to believe in so deeply about travel? When you market yourself, think about the foundation of marketing. It's to spread awareness, get visibility, to grow a warm audience, to nurture an audience, to attract your ideal clients, and ultimately have paying clients. And in order to do all that stuff, you have to be crystal clear on what your brand is all about, what you're all about, who you serve, who it's for, why they should care about it. So that then you can nurture them properly. You can attract the right people and they're ready to buy from you or work with you. So in order to market yourself as a travel coach, first have the clarity of what's your brand story, what is your core message, who's your ideal client, and what your business is all about. How do you help people? Do you combine it with planning and booking trips as a travel agent? Do you, are you a travel coach for individuals? Do you only do coaching sessions? Do you um, uh, plan and book retreats for a certain group of people? Are you a do you go on trips with people? Do you plan their trips for them uh, and go on group tours? What is it that you do? Be clear in what your business model is so that you can properly market yourself. Now, how do you market yourself as a travel coach? One, share your story. Your ideal clients are going to resonate with your story. And I'm not talking about just share all the places you've been to. Give depth and purpose and meaning to what you're talking about, what you're sharing online. And make sure that you're showing up in the right places. Just because a platform exists does not mean that your ideal clients is on it, are on it. In order to identify and reach your ideal clients, you have to know where do they hang out? Where do they show up? Where do they spend their time? What outlets do they read? Um, what platforms are they spending their time on? Are they on LinkedIn in the professional world? Are they on Facebook and Instagram? Are they scrolling on TikTok? You have to identify where they're going to be so that you can show up strategically and you're not wasting your time. So once you figure out, and I'd say choose between two to four different platforms to show up on um, and share your story. Start with that because your ideal clients are going to resonate with that and be strategic in what you're sharing. Again, that brand story, having a brand story is really important because it's all there for you to pull from. You don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. So go back and listen to the episode where I talk about um, the importance of having a brand story and sharing your story. Um, that is what's going to attract your ideal clients. It's going to what's it's going to be what drives them to your email list. It's going to drive them to your website. It's going to drive them to follow you on social media and connect with you because they resonated with you in some way through inspirement by being inspired empowerment, education, whatever it is. They align with you and your story in some way. That's an effective brand story. So share your story, chop it up in different pieces. There's inspirational content you can post, educational content you can post, motivational content you can post. And then of course, last, there's salesy content that you can post. So how can you inspire your ideal clients? How can you motivate your ideal clients? How can you educate your ideal clients? And then how can you ultimately sell to your ideal clients? And what can you sell? That sales part should be that last piece. First, you're going to want to motivate, inspire, and educate your audience. Educate them on what is a travel coach? What sets you apart from anyone else in the industry? Whether it's a travel coach or what sets you apart from travel agents or whatever it is that you do in your business. Who are you speaking to and why should they even care? Why should they care about going on a trip? Just because you love travel and you're so passionate about it, and you know how transformative, transformative it is, does not mean that they, your ideal client automatically gets it. You have to paint the picture for them of why travel is important and what their life or feelings or work life or whatever it might be that you're helping them with, what that can look like in the end if they go on a trip. 
if they have this travel experience, if they incorporate more travel into their lives, educate them, inspire them to want to make a change in their life, to want to take that leap and empower them that they can do it. How can they do it? How come you are the person that, that can help them do that? What would inspire you? Think about your past. When you started going on a trip, uh, when you started traveling, think about before you even started traveling, what would have influenced you? What would have helped you? What would have empowered you? Or what did inspire or empower you? Why did you take that leap? How did you get there? What limiting beliefs did you have that you overcame? And how can you share that with your ideal client? Because they probably have the same limiting beliefs. Marketing yourself is not hard. What has been difficult in the travel industry is that the world has been saturated with, the industry has been saturated with travel agents and everyone is competing for the same clients because no one is crystal clear on their story and no one's crystal clear on who they serve and why. Because it's not how the industry has been teaching them. So that's why I bring this education of travel coaching over into the travel agent world, but especially in the world of travel coaching, you have to set yourself apart. You have to start with your story and your why and the importance of it. We know how important and transformative and powerful travel can be, but not everyone gets it. You have to make it clear and use that as content. Along with social media, you can market yourself. My favorite way is always medium publicity a free way to get your story out there, get your ideas out there, get your name out there and your business out there. Pitch the media outlets, be on podcasts, write articles, and for free, don't get paid for it. It's a marketing strategy. I myself have been in over 175 plus media outlets of all kinds. And now I have editors coming to me and asking me for to share my story, to be in their publication. So... It's a muscle that you have to learn. I talk a lot about that in the Travel Coach Network um, membership club, as well as our certification program. Pitching to the media, it's a great, fun, effective way to grow your business. So you can market yourself that way. Marketing isn't about reinventing the wheel every time. If you have a really solid foundation for your business and your who and your how and your why and your what, run with that share it, post it, and you have to be consistent. There's no overnight success. There's no immediate responses. I know that the world is conditioned to look at how many likes my posts got. And if no one liked it, then no, then I'm not going to talk about it again because no one liked it. That's not true. You don't know who's following you. You don't know who's reading things and you don't know who's talking about you. So be consistent. And if you're not consistent, that means that you're not passionate enough about what you're doing. You have to get clear on who you're serving and your purpose and your vision for your business. These are things that I really empower and encourage those uh, travel coaches in the Travel Coach Network to do. It's really important for any business owner. It's going to keep you going every day when you feel those days that are low and you're going to have, um, you know, heard uh, roadblocks to overcome. And you're going to be questioning yourself at times. It comes with business. But having that clarity and that consistency is key to get you back to those high days and those wins. So if you want to learn about how to market yourself as a travel coach, please be sure to check out um, our TCN Global Community on Facebook. There is a free five-day challenge that's in there, which has also been recorded in this podcast on episodes. Um, come visit us at the travel coach network.com and the travel coach network on Instagram, all of those links for all of those I just mentioned, plus your free beginner's guide to travel coaching in the show notes. So please be sure to sh check that out. And if you know anyone who might be interested in travel coaching, please be sure to send them our way to our podcast. We truly appreciate it. And until next time, my fellow wanderers, bye for now.